This is 3 News First Edition. Keeping an eye on the skies and the road for you. I'm Kristen Diaz live at the JFK Causeway giving you updates on what you need to know before you head out the door. Plus, warning against the dangers of rip currents. What you need to know if you head out to our coastal waters. And the high school football season has officially kicked off. I'm Sarah Costa live at McDonald's. Ready, ready for the high school football Friday Fanatic Series. That is how you eat a Big Mac. And there you go. <laughs> Rain's not going to stop these I know, kids. Right? Good morning, everyone. I'm John Thomas Cobo. <laughs> and I'm Jane Monreal. It is 5 a.m. It is a Friday, August 29th. We're going to start with uh, Kristen. Oh, actually, Kristen Diaz, you saw there yeah. out in the field this morning, tracking some area rain. While meteorologist Bill Vesey is in uh, the weather center this morning, covering us all around our viewing area. Hi, Bill. What do you say, Jane? John Thomas, everybody. I'll give you a buenos dias, amigos. Haven't done that in a long time. All right. The reason we're here this morning is because we have the potential for heavy rain and some complicated forecasts coming up now over the next couple of hours. Let's see what's going on. First of all, this is area of low pressure. We've been keeping an eye on all week. It has now moved inland and you can see in the middle of the night how the rain has started to fire back up. So we have thunderstorms to our south and there's been very heavy rain this morning in Kennedy County has been seeing extremely heavy rain. Taking a look at the the radar right now, you can see most of the rain is in southern parts of the viewing area. Some of it now moving into the metropolitan area. In fact, where Kristen is out there around Flower Bluff sh should start seeing a little bit of rain. Now there is a question, how much rain are we going to get today? If that low stays where it is, we're going to get a lot of rain. If it starts moving back toward the Gulf, won't get as much rain. So lots going on this morning and our complete forecast throughout the morning coming up. Thank you, Bill. We'll be checking back in with you. The National Weather Service is warning beachgoers of dangerous rip currents this weekend. That's right. 3 News reporter uh, Brian Burns shows us how to recognize a rip current and how to get out of danger. About 10, 15 minutes, about all I can stand before it started beating me up. And I think uh, what's uh, getting us right now is the uh, undertow for me. It started uh, pulling me out and taking me out. Before I looked up, I was uh, further than I should be. It was easy finding people around Bob Hall Pier who found themselves caught in rip currents while visiting Padre Island. Normally the waves are just nice and easy so you can kind of just float out there, but it was, it was beating you up. Unlike the east and west coast, these rip currents are being caused by rainstorms in the Gulf drifting our way. The experts say don't go swimming if you don't know how. Even if you are a proficient swimmer, here's what to look for to avoid rip tides. This picture shows a calm area in the middle where there are no waves. In reality, this is where the water is racing away from shore and could take you with it. If you are caught in a rip current, don't fight it directly, but swim away from it up or down the beach until you're in calmer water. If you can't swim, float and try to signal for help. But even for regular visitors, the rip currents they felt were unusual for the coastal bend. It's unusual for all the times I've been here to be rough like that. Brian Burns, 3 News. And the National Weather Service is expecting dangerous rip tides and currents all day today. Boaters at the Packery Channel are being warned of shoaling. City officials say there is an underwater mound of sand developing near the south jetty of the channel. Boaters are urged to be overly cautious when entering and exiting the last 600 feet of that channel. Experts say the rapid increase in shoaling is likely due to strong onshore winds and tides over the last few weeks. An autopsy will be performed later today on a six-year-old boy who was killed Wednesday night. Two people, including his mother, are facing capital murder charges. Xadrian Martinez was rushed to Driscoll Children's Hospital Wednesday evening after suffering from seizures and later died. His mother, 27-year-old Nancy Ray Martinez and 27-year-old Albert Villarreal, went before a magistrate judge yesterday. According to the police affidavit, Xadrian's sister told investigators that Villarreal hit the young boy after he soiled his clothing. The sister also said Villarreal grabbed her six-year-old brother by the neck until he was unconscious. The affidavit also described the 27-year-old slamming the boy into a refrigerator in an attempt to revive him. 3 News spoke to Nancy Martinez's ex, Joey Garcia, who says they were in a common-law marriage for four years. He also says Martinez was trying to get out of her current relationship. And she texted me on Facebook and she said, I need your help. And I told her, like, Come home, you know. Come home. We don't have to be together. It doesn't have to be just me and you. We can. It's about the kids. She said, "Okay, well, I'm gonna wait till he goes to sleep, and I'm gonna try to pack up everything." And then 
All of a sudden she said, he's coming, he's coming, and I never heard from her again. Martinez and Villarreal remain in the Nueces County Jail on a million dollars bond each and are waiting for court-appointed attorneys. Xadrian's brother and sister are in the custody of Child Protective Services. White House officials are responding to criticism this morning after the president says he does not have a clear strategy to defeat ISIS. President Obama made it clear that military action against the Islamic militants in Syria is not imminent, even though the U.S. is already targeting the terror group in Iraq. The president's comments immediately drew fire from Republicans Republican critics who said the president does not fully understand the threat posed by ISIS, which is holding American hostages. ISIS stunned the world last week, releasing this gruesome execution video of American journalist James Foley. Despite that warning, the president is urging patience. He says the U.S. is trying to build a coalition of Middle East countries to battle ISIS. Drivers have something to celebrate this Labor Day weekend. Oh, yeah, besides Labor Day, hey, gasoline prices will be at their lowest level since 2010. Regular unleaded will average $3.41 a gallon. That is 18 cents less than last year and 42 cents lower than 2012 Labor Day weekend. That's great. Officials yeah. at GasBuddy.com say prices at the pump should continue to drop through early November. The lowest price in Corpus Christi is currently 314. Have you seen it? Did you no. see it? No. Where is that? I, yeah, where is I saw 317 though. Okay. Off Castores near SPID. I say let us know. I want to know. Put it on Facebook. <laughs> we'll visit that place for sure. Okay, uh, the anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Just ahead, we look back at the damage that forever changed lives along the Gulf Coast, how people are still working to recover. First, we're going to check in with meteorologist Bill Vesey. We have so, some of our from, own storm here. Yeah, rain over the station right now. Hey, Bill. Again, y'all, we're keeping an eye on this area of low pressure. What happens with that is going to determine our weather. But right now, yep, we have rain here in the city. If you're about to head on out to work in about an hour or so, school, you want to be careful. May want to leave a little bit early because of the rain that will be outside. I'll keep it here on TV3 for the complete forecast. Plus, more local news right here on 3 News First Edition. This is 3 News First Edition in high definition. With John Thomas Cobos, Jane Monreal, Sarah Acosta, and Kristen Diaz Weather. This is 3 News First Edition in High Definition. The deals are hot, hotter, hottest during the sizzling summer savings sale. Going on now at Wilkinson, Chevrolet, and Refurio. The savings and selection are heating up hot. A new cruise Malibu or Impala for 0% for 60 months. And no payments for 90 days. Hotter. All Silverado, 0% for 72 months. $4,000 off and no payments for 90 days. Hotter. Just get $10,000 off any of our Rocky Ridge lifted trucks on the lot. Don't miss the sizzling summer savings sale. Going on now only at Wilkinson, Chevrolet, and Refurio. Drive a little, save a lot. It's Chubby's Labor Day Super Sale. Shop now and save hundreds on top brand name mattresses store-wide. Get your choice of Beautyrest or Serta Perfect Sleeper Queen Size Sets $3.79. Or get this limited edition Beautyrest Pillow Top with Gel and Memory Foam only $7.79. Plus get Labor Day savings and the largest selection of rustic furniture in South Texas like this Rustic Star Complete Bedroom Set for just $5.99. Or Rustic Mansion Style Bedrooms with Stars or Crosses only $9.99. Plus get fast same-day delivery and no interest until 2019. Hurry into Chubby's Labor Day Super Sale today and sleep like a puppy tonight. We need to break up. Is it the biting? Because I can stop. No. I love you and your show. It's cable. Customers are more satisfied with you first. Switch and we can stay together forever. Forever? Oh! I'm not going to lie to you. It's also the biting. Break up with cable. Choose Uverse TV from $19 a month for two years. You know what some folks' idea of a $5 deal is? A sub sandwich. That's one. A junior meal. <laughs> That's another one. My idea of a $5 deal is a meal, honey. Two pieces of my world-famous Popeye's Bonafide Chicken, your choice of two of my signature sides and a biscuit for 5 bucks. Now that is a $5 meal. Two big pieces of my chicken, two sides, and a biscuit. I call it my $5 Bonafide Big Box. Okay, it's not that big, but it's big. Love that chicken from Popeye's. In the fraction of time we spend driving in reverse, about half a million accidents occur each year, which is why the Infiniti QX60 
has world's first safety technology available, like backup collision intervention, which can break even before you do, to help keep everyone safe. Lease the Infinity QX60 for $4.59 a month. Visit your local Infinity retailer. Did you know you can watch the Friday Night Sports Blitz live on your mobile device? Well, you can. But if you missed it, no problem. Download the SyncBack app for your mobile device and catch the action live or on demand. Hi again, everybody. Here's a live picture from our tower cam. It is raining and raining hard here in Corpus Christi. The rain just really uh, pounding away there at our lens. So let's take a look at the radar and see what's going on out there. All right, it's this area of low pressure we're keeping an eye on. We've been watching it all week, and it has moved inland. And uh, the inland movement allowing the Gulf moisture to come on the back side of it and come on up this way. And that's why all the rain after tapering off last night 10 11 o'clock refired up around 2 o'clock in the morning and that's what we're looking at it is now moving into the Corpus Christi area the question now is how much rain are we going to get today it all depends on that low if it stays there we're in good shape if it moves back toward the Gulf we're not going to get as much rain so we hope it stays there or moves a little bit farther inland so let's take a look at what's going on as uh, far as the radar is concerned again right now most of the rain in southern parts of the Buick area I know that in Kennedy County around the Sarita checkpoint has gotten a whole bunch of rain here earlier this morning and as we take a look at the viewing area see Baffin Bay Kingsville 77 up I 37 toward Mathis and right now we're starting to see some of that rain move into the metropolitan area here in the city nice train coming across uh, looks to be near Bob Hall Pier and coming across here to the south side right here at Channel 3. So let's take a uh, zoom in one more time and take a look. We would be right there. Yeah, we're getting some real good rain up there. Gregory Portland um, also seeing some rain and a little bit north of Port Aranda seeing some rain also. So the rain's out there. That's good. That's a good start. We need it. The only advisory right now is a flood advisory down in Kennedy County. I think that goes till 535, 45. We'll keep an eye on what's going on down there. All right. And official rainfall so far, so far a trace officially here in Corpus Christi, less than a tenth of an inch. And again, this is since midnight, so we expect those those numbers to come up again, as we've been saying, and there's a spaghetti models over there as this low continues to move in Gulf moisture surges up this way and the good thing would be that this moisture piles up it piles up can't go down has to go up you have moisture lifting up into the atmosphere comes down as rain and that's what's going on right now so that's what we want we want this low to either stay stationary or move a little bit farther inland allow more of that moisture to come up but but if that low moves back to the Gulf cuts off the moisture train and most of the moisture will move into the valley southern parts of the viewing area and that's where the heaviest rain will be so that's the question right now some of the models keeping it stationary some of the models bringing it back over the Gulf so we'll see how it develops if it stays stationary the threat of heavy rain is there and again up to three inches as possible on the line for we'll say Hebronville Alice to sit into Refurio and back down all the way south so we need the rain and probably we'll get a good soaker because it's so dry out there any rain I'm not expecting any flash flood watches or advisories because it's so dry and then when we finish with this keeping an eye on this disturbance in the Caribbean could be a rainmaker next week we'll have an update coming up later in the show but right now let's go to Kristen Kristen you got some rain out there hey Bill you know good morning we did get a little bit of rain when we started to sit up here about I would say about 30 minutes ago but it's been pretty dry what we have been seeing though is a nice lightning uh, show I know you were showing on the radar just now all the rain going into Corpus Christi we're right here at the JFK Causeway so you could actually see on the radar there when you were showing it how it's just moving right around us and we're getting a beautiful lightning show and also hearing a lot of thunder as well it's been pretty loud here in the area. Um, as far as road conditions are concerned, you know, we're here at, at, by the bridge. Things are looking pretty dry, but, you know, according to the road weather management uh, program from the U.S. Department of Safety, uh, there's a little bit over 5.8 million car crashes a year, and about 23% of them are weather-related. The vast majority of that only because of wet pavement. So, yes, it's dry 
right now, but even if you get just a little bit of rain that is very treacherous, we want to make sure that everyone is not underestimating the chance for some rain on your way to work today and also making sure that they're cautious out on the roads. You want to make sure you slow down and uh, give yourself plenty of time to get there. We'll be back with live updates throughout the morning here uh, in the Flower Bluff area. John Thomas and Jane. All right, sounds good, Kristen. I mean, really, when it's been dry for so long and that initial rain hits the road and it's oil just oil, yeah, very dangerous. Exactly. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, nine years ago today, Hurricane Katrina roared ashore along the Gulf Coast, striking Louisiana. The Category 4 storm boasted 140 mile per hour winds. It made landfall in Plaquemines Parish. Four hours later, it made its final landfall along the Louisiana-Mississippi border. Katrina devastated the Mississippi and Louisiana coasts wiping homes off their foundations. In New Orleans, levees were no match for the rising water and fierce winds. The protective barriers broke, leaving the city submerged under 20 feet of water. Hurricane Katrina killed 1,800 people and caused at least $125 billion in damage. And it's still recovering. Yeah, people, uh, so many people were displaced, mm -hmm. moved to other uh, cities, Shreveport, Dallas, mm -hmm. even down here in Corpus Christi. I believe the Coliseum was used as mm -hmm. a refuge for people that were trying to get out of there. Yeah, so the population is still not back to its pre-Katrina numbers. And those levees were only built for uh, Category 3 Yeah, hurricane. a lot of changes made there. Uh, the Army Corps engineers revamping and looking at the way they do things. Yeah. yeah. Everything but the kitchen sink. Up next, Mr. Food puts his twist on a popular salad. Plus, high school football fans are some of the most dedicated. Our Sarah Costa is live kicking off the season with a rowdy crowd. Sarah? Good morning, and we have the Miller cheerleaders. Yeah. We have the King and Carol cheerleaders. And the Ray and Moody cheerleaders. When we come back, I'll tell you how you can take part in our high school football Friday Fanatic series. Shopping for glasses.